January 24th, 2020. Uh, it's my birthday. Turned 33 today. Awesome. Two weeks ago, nope, last week, felt like complete shit. Was getting lightheaded and dizzy. And just felt terrible all around. Just horrible. Felt horrible. Uh, took three days off from work. Went to the doctor. Got, got blood work done. They called me up on... Saturday. Got the blood work done on Friday. They called me on Saturday. And because I didn't show any viral symptoms, they didn't know what was going on. So they said, hey, let's do blood work. So they get into blood work. They call me up on Saturday. They tell me, all right, you have elevated liver enzymes. And they tell me that my enzymes are 58. And I looked it up and 7 to 56 is normal. So I was just a little out to normal. And then they're like, hey, we want to do an ultrasound and check you for hepatitis to make sure you don't have uh, hepatitis. I was like, that's uh, it's odd, but okay. Don't see why I would have that. So I looked up hepatitis. There's five different strands. Uh, one of them is sex sexually transmitted. The other are from contaminated foods and water. I don't know what the contaminants would be and how the food would become contaminated with it, but that's what everything said on the internet. And if it's on the internet, you know it has to be true. Anyways, got the blood work done for hepatitis and yesterday and it came back negative don't have hepatitis but then they told me my cholesterol my cholesterol is 223 so it's supposed to be 200 and under so i'm 23 points above normal uh the danger zones between 240 to 250 the high cholesterol or mildly high cholesterol isn't even really a big concern as long as all your other blood work is intact Apparently, the thing that I need to be worried about is my triglycerides. My triglycerides are supposed to be, they're supposed to be 150 and below. <clears throat> I guess that's generally anybody per fluid, liter, ounce, blood, I don't know. Volume, fluid, I, you, you can look into it for yourself if you're interested. I just kind of skimmed through it. Um, the extreme levels are 500 on up. Those are the danger levels. Those are like, hey, you got a stroke or a heart attack at any given moment. I also looked up the, the, the way you're supposed to test for this. You're supposed to go 12 hours of fasting. And then when you fast for 12 hours, you get the test done. And then it tells you what your actual levels are. Uh, for me, when I went to the doctor, I ate breakfast at 6.30 in the morning. I went to the doctor at 10 o'clock. And then I got my, my blood drawn and they test for everything. I didn't know you're supposed to be fasted. They asked me if I was fasted. I told them no. So everyone was aware of this. But apparently my triglycerides are 438. Now remember, this is after eating, because when you eat, it will elevate everything. I don't know how much. I'm not going to say, oh, it would have been 120, but uh, now that uh, I ate, it's 438. No, it, I mean, I don't know what it would have been. It could have been 300. It could have been 420. It could have been 100. I, I don't know. But it's high. It's high as shit. So we went out to eat yesterday with my wife and I had Mexican food and I felt like shit the rest of the day. I felt like dog shit. Remember, this is before I got the test. I ate some chips, had fajitas, and then it was just, I thought maybe it was the canola oil, maybe it was what they cooked it in, maybe it was just the carbs, or maybe it was gluten, oh no. You know, they told me the gluten was free. So I was like, fuck it, if it's free, why not, right? It's already in there. It's a joke. I'm, I'm not a big gluten, gluten, gluten kind of guy. I'm not, I mean, everyone has intolerances to everything in a certain amount. You drink too much water, there's a side effect of that. So anyone can be allergic to anything in any given amount. So that's that's the excessive amounts. People can get irritated and everyone took that and ran with it. Everyone has to be a victim. Oh, no, I have something wrong with me. I'm a victim. Anyways. So I know I've always been sensitive to carbohydrates. I know I've always had a problem with carbs uh, my whole life when I eat. I've never been big on sugars or candies or cookies or sweets for that matter. I've, I've never cared for them. Uh, I've always liked more like beef and, and more spicy foods, actual foods, not sweets. Because when I eat sweets, I typically don't feel good. And I don't mean like, oh, I don't feel good because I get tired. That does happen, but I feel bad. Like I get lightheaded and dizzy and I feel like, well, like generally shit. Right, I, my blood pressure isn't really an issue or nothing like that. It's just I get hot, I get flush. I, it's like the Asian flush when they drink, right? They, the, most Asians, when they drink, they turn red and they sweat. If I eat too much sugar, too much carbs, I turn red and I start to sweat. It's the same concept. So there's a, um, a filtering process with the liver that causes Asians to do this. And it could just not be towards alcohol. It could be towards the metabolizing of sugars or food into sugars and which causes the elevated triglycerides. 
triglycerides is uh, three different fatty acids joined together to make a lipid, which is a triglyceride, which is fat in the bloodstream. And if you get too much in your liver, it can cause your blood levels to elevate and it could be high in your blood levels. Uh, this is bad because this could be because of lesions, tumors, or generally speaking, a uh, fatty liver disease, which is typically from drinking too much alcohol. I don't drink alcohol. I do, don't get me wrong, but I drink alcohol maybe four or five times a year. This last three months, I've been drinking it regularly, but I figured three months out of 33 years shouldn't have caused this to happen. So some people drink their whole lives and never had this problem. Unless I'm just the fortunate few that just can't metabolize that type of sugar or whatever and it causes this effect. So what I'm gonna do, I'm sitting roughly around 250 pounds right now. My body fat, eh, I don't know, uh, fatter, I guess, and I could be, um, but I'm not morbidly obese but I'm not in great shape either. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a, a ketogenic diet. Now this has happened before in the past when I was around 27, 28 years old and I ate a fuckload of carbohydrates and it caused me to get sensitive to carbohydrates even more so. When I eat, I would get lightheaded and dizzy, but not to this extreme to where I was literally rendered useless because I couldn't move because of the issue. But what I did was I went on the anabolic diet. For those of you who don't know what the anabolic diet is, it's a diet basically that consists of eating nothing but 60% fat, 40% protein, Monday through Friday, and then Saturday, Sunday, it's 80% carbs and 20% protein, and that's your calorie percentage. So if you're doing 2,000 calories, 60% of those is fat, 40% of those is protein, and you figure out the rest. And after three months, it, it fixed me up. Never went to the doctor for it, but it fixed me up. I could eat carbohydrates again, and I wasn't feeling all wonky or weird or whatever, and I got back to eating normal, whatever normal would be to whoever it might be. Typically speaking, I'm always eating six times a day, and it's eating steak, chicken, rice, fish, um, eggs, milk, cheese, and dinner with the family, whatever that might be, depending on what time of the year or what I'm doing with my fitness at that time. So anyways, like I'm saying, I'm gonna go on the ketogenic diet for three months because I have a blood test coming up in three months to see what's going on with my triglycerides and my cholesterol. So everyone says that eating fat doesn't cause cholesterol to go up and it'll cause triglycerides to go down. But then you take the medical doctors and they say, oh no, get off of all protein and all fats. That's what's called, not protein, but get off of all fats. And that's what's causing your triglycerides to go up because it's fat. Fat causes fat to go up, but we know that's debunked. So everything that you read on says that it's actually grains and sugars that causes your triglycerides to go up. Hence, why you drink alcohol, it causes your triglyceride levels to rise and your fatty acids to build inside the liver. Because alcohol metabolizes into sugar, right? That makes sense. But then they're gonna sit here and try to say, oh no, 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 no. It's not, it's not the grains and the carbs that's doing it to you. It's not the wheat and the, and the fruit and the apples and the bananas and the fruit juice? No, and the, and the, the fruit snacks? No, 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 That's not what it is, no, 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 no. It can't be that, absolutely not. It, it grew from the ground, so it has to be healthy. But when you drink alcohol, it does the same fucking shit, right? Uh, mm, well, you know. So anyway, so I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna see what my blood markers come back in three months. I'm gonna make another video to show y'all where I'm at as far as it goes for my markers. So, like I said, I'm at four, 38 on the triglycerides and I'm at 223 on the cholesterol. But again, this was taken after I ate three hours earlier. So I don't know how accurate this test was to begin with. So I'm not gonna sit here and say in three months, if I'm all the way back in the norm and be like, yeah, it's only because of the ketogenic diet. Because I'm not sure exactly where like it would have been if I was fasted. Because the next time I go in, I'm gonna be fasted like I'm supposed to be. But this is a good marker to see about where I would actually be at and how to go about it from that. Whatever the case is, I don't know if I'm going to do before and after pictures. And I don't know if I'm going to do like my whole shirt off. and be like, oh, check out what the ketogenic diet did for my body. Oh, I'm so sexy now. I'm, I'm, I'm not really vain like that. I love bodybuilding, absolutely. But I'm not, I'm not vain like that. I don't really know how I feel about showing off the goods they're not really that great but really cases all right we're gonna go from there so january 24th my birthday it's kind of a hard date to remember a hard date to forget <laughs> for some it's easier to forget than others but other cases let's see where we end up at